All right, so JP just got a data download about an hour ago, and there is a lot of stuff for us to cover in this video. So I'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as possible. And some highlights would be the new LR Mercenary Tau that's coming for JP's next world tournament in a couple days, in addition to some other new world tournament units, a world tournament awakening, and finally, some Extreme Z awakenings for the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, and also the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and the Fizz Super Saiyan Vegeta. So with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And a big shout out to uh, Harry Turney on Twitter for posting the art for these new World Tournament units. We have the LR Mercenary Tau here, as well as the STR Goku, the Tech Super Saiyan Gohan, and this is the Token Awakening for the Fizz Mighty Mask. Now jumping over, to Kawai's page, we're gonna quickly watch the animations for the LR Tau Pai Pai slash Mercenary Tau. So let me just uh, turn off my music. And we're starting here, of course, with the 12K Super. Here we go. So yeah, obviously this is sped up. It's at two times speed and it's very clean. It's very clean, just like some of the past free-to-play units we've had recently. Um, they've always been doing a really good job with these, and this is no exception, so I like that. And then moving on to the 18 key super. Let me just pause that. Here we go. Alright, so nothing fancy, but obviously there's nothing like too crazy about you know, Mercenary Tau's attacks. So uh, I think they did, they did a great job with the source material and uh, I like it, man. I like it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the 12 and 18 key supers for Mercenary Tau. But uh, he is going to be the new World Tournament LR for, once again, JP's next World Tournament in a couple days. So now we're going to jump over to, of course, Goresh's page. And let me just uh, start playing the music again so it's not too quiet. So uh, let's start with Mercenary Tau here. His uh, leader skill is going to be Dragon Ball Saga, category key plus 4. HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. 12 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage with a high chance to perform a critical hit. And then 18 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage with a high chance, once again, to perform a critical hit. So he has a built-in 50% chance to crit with both the 12 key and 18 key supers, just like the LR UI Goku, right? The AGL one, also the LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. So that's pretty awesome. Passive is attack and defense plus 5,648 per key sphere obtained, gains an additional attack and defense plus 7,564 per key sphere obtained if three or more key spheres are obtained, and then gains an additional attack and defense plus 10,108 when performing a super attack, plus gains an additional attack and defense, plus 10,108 when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. Okay, so on paper right now, obviously he's a nuker, right? That's obvious. Um, the flat boosts always confuse me, right? Like I don't know exactly how to gauge like how good that is, but it is a, a big flat boost per key sphere obtained. So based on my initial impressions, I'm gonna say he is gonna hit very hard and his defense should be quite good. Even if, even though percentage boosts are always better, um, you know, these like numbers are so large for every key sphere that he should be doing some very good damage and also getting some very good defense. I just don't know exactly what those numbers are gonna look like. Cause once again, the flat boosts are a little bit iffy, right? And then, uh, of course, gaining one key per key sphere means that it's going to be easy to get his uh, 18 key super consistently. And high chance to crit is always good. Raising attack and defense for one turn is really good. And then he has an active skill, which can be activated once this character has received three or more attacks during battle and HP is 50% or below. So not too bad. Three attacks received is uh, reasonable, I would say. And then uh, HP below 50% is not as good, but 
Overall, not a bad condition, and temporarily massively raises attack and causes ultimate damage and stuns for one turn. So basically a super attack style uh, active skill right there. Links are Crane School, Supreme Warrior, Brutal Beatdown, Coward, Dodon Ray, uh, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Dragon Ball Seekers, Dragon Ball Saga, Siblings Bond, Target Goku, and Earthlings. So there you go, LR, STR, Mercenary Tau. Coming soon. Uh, apparently these numbers do mean things. I don't know exactly what they mean, but you know, when, whenever they have these like random numbers, right, like seemingly random numbers, there's always some kind of a pun involved with uh, each each like digit, you know, like the way they're pronounced or whatever. So there you go. Now moving on to the tech Super Saiyan Gohan. Uh, leader skill is going to be tech type, skill plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Keep in mind, these units are not awakened yet. Okay, so they'll get even better in the future with token awakenings. Um, super attack raises defense, causes supreme damage, so he can be a very good defensive unit in longer events. And then passive is attack and defense plus 158% at the start of the turn, reduces damage received by 30% when there is one enemy, gains an additional attack and defense plus 58% if there is another Goku's family category ally on the team. How crazy is this, man? I mean, without a token awakening, he's getting these massive, massive boosts. He's also getting 30% damage reduction against one enemy, so in like, you know, legendary Goku events, um, Infinite Dragon Ball History, stuff like that, he's going to be amazing. And then uh, Lynx, our Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, on the family, Super Saiyan, Z Fighters, Gaze of Respect. Categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth Super Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Rapid Growth, and Heavenly Event. So that's the Gohan, and then the Goku is, I mean, arguably... Um, I don't know between the two which one I prefer, probably the Gohan actually, but this guy's really good too. So the STR Goku leader skill is STR type skill plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, with a medium chance to stun, passive is attack and defense plus 159%, at the start of the turn, performs two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance to become a super attack. So this guy can super up to, I guess, four times if you have hidden potential investment too. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 5% per attack performed. Max of 59%. Medium chance to perform a critical, so that's going to be 30%. And links are all in the family. Saiyan Lineage, Turtle School, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Incredible Adventure. And categories are World Tournament, Low Class Warrior, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, and Turtle School. So uh, Goku's definitely the more, I guess, offensive driven unit. But Gohan's going to be better defensively, a better tank, and they're both just amazing, man. <laughs> they're both just amazing. Um, moving on to the Fizz Mighty Mask Doken Awakening. Okay, so leader skill, Fizz types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme, da supreme damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 150%. At the start of the turn, gains an additional attack and defense plus 150%, when there is only one enemy, so that's already 300% attack and defense, evades all attacks when HP is 50% or below once only, and once this effect has been activated, gains a high chance to evade enemy attacks in following turns when HP is 50% or below, evade all enemy attacks when HP is 30% or below once only. <laughs> Links are the innocent, flee more than meets the eye, world tournament reborn, super sane, shocking speed, shattering the limit, and categories are World Tournament and Majin Buu Saga. And, uh... Wait, are there no... Are there more categories for Mighty Mask? Or am I crazy? Hold on. Um... Oh, they're only in two categories? Wow. I did not notice that. Okay, anyways. Uh, there you go. <laughs> that is the Mighty Mask Awakening. I mean, look at that passive, though. Holy crap. 300% attack and defense. Um, yeah, guaranteed evade for one turn when you fall below 50% the first time, and then after that, if you fall below 50% again, or stay below 50%, high chance, so 50% chance to evade, and then when you fall below 30% HP, you evade all attacks again, but only once. Um, that's pretty cool. That, that's, that's pretty cool, but like 300% attack and defense, though, when facing one enemy is insane. That's a huge boost. Of course, their, their stats are not going to be that high, 
but still like they're gonna be good man they're gonna be really good all right so enough uh enough time with that let's move on to the great saiyan man one and two extreme z awakening um their leader skill is going to be super types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 130 percent but only when team includes all five super types so i hate that you know i think it's kind of dumb but it is what it is i guess if they did like just you know key plus three hp attack and defense plus 130 percent with no conditions maybe that would have made them too op of a leader i don't really think so to be honest but it is what it is you have to have all five types if you want to use them as a leader and then super attack uh 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn colossal damage and then seal super attack and then 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn causes mega colossal damage and raises super class allies attack by 30 percent for two turns and i believe before it was um oh it's also 30 percent okay so that didn't change oh interesting okay so they always buff for two turns forgot about that but now they raise attack and defense so that's new and then passive is going to be attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn. Super class allies keep plus 4 and defense plus 50%. Gains an additional attack plus 58%. And performs an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when attacking an extreme class ally. Or sorry, extreme class enemy. An extreme class enemy's defense minus 70%. Damn, that's really solid. That's, that's really solid because before it was uh, just the support right and then uh the debuffing of uh extreme class enemies defense but now you're getting the attack and defense you're getting better support i believe right oh no same support okay so same support but more attack and also the ability to perform multiple supers as well so it just made them better defensively and also much 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 better offensively because before their damage was not good man it was not impressive and now they're gonna be able to do some pretty decent damage so i like that and now moving on to the fizz super saiyan 2 gohan uh his leader skill is gonna be all types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 60 percent super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn causes supreme damage and then passive is gonna be attack and defense plus 100 uh, percent all allies key plus two attack and defense plus 30 percent or 35 percent rather medium chance of performing a critical hit and medium chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks but so both of these should be 30 percent right yeah so 30 percent chance of performing a crit and 30 percent chance of evading enemy super attacks but only after this guy has performed a third super attack in battle so it's kind of a weird condition um i guess if you don't get additionals it would take three appearances which uh it's not too bad it's not too bad but i don't i don't love it you know if <sighs> why do they need this man would it have been so bad to just give him medium chance to crit and medium chance to evade i don't think so i don't think that would have been too op this feels a little bit unnecessary i don't love it but hey i guess uh it is what it is um it's not bad though i'm not criticizing him i'm not saying he's bad i do like the additional attack and defense now because before it was just the support right just all allies attack and defense plus 35 percent so he is massively Im improved i just feel like he could have been even better without this condition um and then lastly we have the super saiyan vegeta leader skill agl int fizz types hp attack and defense plus 80 percent so still a bad leader i mean let's be honest uh super attack supreme damage and greatly lowers defense and uh, so passive is attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when performing super attack. Attack enemies, attack and defense minus 40%. That's going to be nice for uh, like super battle road, for example, or any event where, you know, you can debuff the enemy's attack and they hit really hard. This will help a bunch. So I like that. Um, not bad. Not bad. Nothing crazy, but not bad at all. So there you have it, guys all the extreme sea awakenings token awakenings world tournament units new world tournament lr shout out to garesh uh harry turney uh Kawhi, and uh yeah that's gonna be the video guys it went a little bit longer than i would have wanted it to go but it was worth it hopefully so there you go guys um that is today's video thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments, man, which one are you the most excited for? Which one are you the most impressed by? Even though 
you know, the LR looks great. <sighs> Man, it's, these, it's this Goku and Gohan that really really surprised me at the very least man and uh, I'm assuming they're gonna be the world tournament reward units for the upcoming tournament so you're probably gonna get both if you get 23 million points and obviously more if you you know rank high right so uh, I don't know about you guys but this is a tournament that when it comes to global I'm gonna go pretty pretty heavy on I want to get at least like two dupes in each of these guys because they're that good they're, they're really that good but uh, yeah, that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Um... Until next time, oh, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.